Okay, checking out the video micro road microphone on the GoPro with the new GoPro adapter so you can actually plug in external microphones. I think my giant windsock is casting a bit of shadow. You can see in the photo of the giant windsock. Pretty cool. Anyways, one thing with all these boom microphones is that after you get a certain amount of feet away from the microphone, the audio is gonna dissipate. Um, but that's what we're testing right now. So I'm really close to the microphone right now. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Eating the microphone. Got the windsock on. Now let's see if we can put it a few feet away. See how it sounds. Rest it down on a little log. Okay, now I'm four feet away from the microphone, doing a little test. You know, all microphones want to be really tight, close to the mouth. Um, but yeah, here I am four feet away, got the windsock on in the forest here. It's a little windy, so hopefully that giant windsock is doing its job. Let's move away six feet. Now I'm six feet away from the microphone, talking at a normal distance. Very curious if this onboard microphone is going to make a, uh, a huge difference. So now I'm six feet away with the Rode micro microphone. Let's unplug the Rode microphone, see what it sounds like with just the GoPro. Okay, now I'm six feet away without the uh, microphone just the GoPro itself. I assume once we get this back into the video editor that this is going to sound not very good at all, being six feet away from the GoPro, no microphone. Now I'm going to move back to the four feet away. Uh, with a lot of experience with GoPros, I think this will sound okay, but I sure assume that the um, example with the microphone is going to be much better. So let's go back and compare them. Okay, doing some uh, testing in the forest with the with the microphone on the GoPro. Got the windsock, which is bouncing around. It might be in the shot, but this huge windsock, uh, these windsocks really work if when you're outdoors and there's any wind. Right now, there's virtually no wind, so I probably don't really need the windsock. As a matter of fact, why don't we take it off, see if there's any difference. Again, you probably won't notice any difference because it's not windy, but let's take it off. Giant windsock. Giant windsock is off. So now we got the uh, Rode microphone. No windsock. Hooked to the GoPro in the forest. I bet you this sounds really sweet. You know, I'm really close up, and even though the GoPro does an amazing job. Um, these road mics are just amazing. So doing some testing, vlog style. So this is total vlog, arm's length away with the road microphone on. Vlog style. Yeah, then I would probably just keep the windsock in a bag and then anytime I'm out on a beach or somewhere windy, put it on just make sure it doesn't bounce around you can see in the photo of the whole unit um, it was dropping into my scene a little bit into the uh, viewfinder okay a little vlogging with the uh, road microphone walking through the forest 
really close arm length away from the microphone. So in a sec here, I'm going to put the microphone or the camera down, the GoPro down, and do my little test. Because that's where you notice it with any microphone when you move away. So let's put this down on my awesome new stand. Balance it out. Okay, so now I'm two feet away with the Rode microphone. Now I'm three feet away. Maybe four feet away with a Rode microphone, talking at a really soft, normal voice. Um, now, six feet away. Let's see, six feet away with the Rode microphone. Really talking at a quite a normal voice. Now I'll, I'll speak a little bit louder. <laughs> now I'm six feet away, talking more animated as I might do in a video vlog six feet away, four feet away, and two feet away with the Rode microphone. Okay, let's head back and we can compare all these. GoPro stop video. Okay, same comparison without the Rode microphone plugged in, just the GoPro, two feet away. Four feet away, um, without the Rode microphone. Okay, now I'm six feet away without the Rode microphone, just using the onboard microphone on the GoPro. I bet you this sounds pretty low. Okay, now I'm doing my animated voice, six feet away. I bet you it's acceptable on the GoPro because the, the GoPro has a pretty darn good built-in microphone. Six feet away, animated voice. Four feet away, animated voice. Two feet away, which is the onboard mic on the GoPro. Okay, now we'll go back and check out these results. Okay, I just had to come out again and do a conclusion about this Rode Video Micro and attaching an external microphone to your GoPro in general. And from the testing you just saw, I give it 100% better. It, the sound gets 100% better if you can attach an external microphone. You know, sometimes you might not be able to because you're ready to jump off a cliff into the ocean. Then the GoPro built-in microphone, as I said, is pretty good. But boy, do you notice it. Look back at that testing. When you get a few feet away from the GoPro without an external microphone, the sound just gets worse really quick. You know, I did the two foot, two foot, four foot, six foot comparisons, and the audio quality drops right off. And what happens is that GoPro microphone picks up every single little sound wherever you are. So to me, it's unbearable, almost not usable to use the built-in onboard microphone on the GoPro unless you're eating the mic and it's like you know you're doing full vlog two feet away um, so if you can use an external mic this road was like $80 in Canada here on Amazon 100% better tip two boy what a difference put that sock on that came with it I did the testing as you just saw sounded great sounded great with the wind sock um, but boy, when we took that wind sock off, even in a forest with no wind, it was like whoo, whoo, whoo. So, tip one, use an external microphone for your GoPro. Tip two, if you get the Rode Micro, use the wind sock. There you go. Enjoy.